don't worry everybody, I'm safe and back on the road. I cannot say enough nice things about the people in Greenbrier, I think that's where I was, Arkansas. And that antique mall I was at, Peddlers, they were so nice to me. They even called somebody who got me a toe, who got me a tire, and I was back on the road in under an hour. Insane. So, I didn't get to go to the antique mall I wanted to go to because by the time I pass by it, it will already be closed because I lost that hour. I have about an hour left to shop. I picked out another one, Hilltop Antiques and Collectibles. I really have no idea what to expect. I think I'm in Russellsville, Russellsville, uh, Arkansas. So let's go in. There's a lot going on here. Is this horse ten dollars? I'm so confused. Is it broken? Doesn't look broken. I think I need to get this. I still don't understand, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll figure it out. This is cute. A little powder. Only 99 cents. Whoa. I think that's kind of sweet. Um, look at this little figurine. Five dollars. I'm like very confused why I'm picking up all this stuff that's really, really cheap. Okay, like look at this doll. I can't remember what they're called because my brain is fried, honestly. But fifteen dollars. It's like an Ichi doll or something. Oh my gosh, wait, stop. Look at this. It's amazing. I wonder if it works. Nah, it was kind of coming apart. So I'm gonna leave that behind. Man, I'm gonna get this. I just think it's cute. I'm definitely in a strange mood after the day I've had and five days of being on the road. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna get a basket. Not sure what's going on in this place, but I like it. Oh, this is funny. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. Japan. $1.99? Is that for real? I'm gonna take that for sure. So, definitely a lot of like fishing stuff. Look at the cat pin though. That's at $5. I'm gonna have to get her to open the case for me for sure. I love that red cat. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. Oh, wait. Moon and stars. 35. Okay, I was going to say. So the cat pin was actually $3. I also grabbed the little Girl Scout pin for $3. As well as an umbrella brooch for $3. And this bracelet for $1.99. This is really fun. They don't have uh, a lot of places like this where I'm from. I'll tell you that much. The thrift stores... Well, I guess this is technically an antique mall, but the prices here are insane. Look at the Roy Rogers glass. And then look at this little bowling cutie. Four dollars, Japan. I'm not sure how well she'd do though. Whoa. Cow painting. If I had room for that in my car, I would definitely, definitely get it. $75 cow paintings can be worth a lot of money. And I see what looks like the Royal Kopu hat at $10. There's a, there's a lot to walk a maneuver around here. Oh my gosh, what is this little planter? How cute. I kind of love that. Unfortunately, it's got a little hairline. So at $10, I'm a little unsure about that. And for all you clown people, my gosh. I like that one back there, but I can't really get to it. Oh my gosh, how fun are these? No shortage of Avon here. Now, a couple people were like, man, you always bash Avon. I will say, um, I've seen a few things recently that I actually really like by Avon. And I've picked them up too. 
or I would have uh, picked up more stuff if it had been a little bit more reasonable for resale purposes. Lots of tools, clothing, randomness. <laughs> These are kind of neat. I have to admit, this isn't really what I had in mind, but I'm loving it nevertheless. $20, okay. About the cut glass, 30 So not everything is insanely cheap, but what are these rabbits? Oh my gosh, how funny. Wood bunnies. <gasps> Wait, stop. Little Bo Peep tile, $2.00 sold all right now let me look at these bunnies eh they're neat but i'm gonna pass surprisingly a lot happens <laughs> snail i think that might be new i'm a little hesitant i'm unsure of its age they're so cute though yeah i'm just kind of walking around with my camera on at this point because Every time I turn the corner, I feel <laughs> very surprised, which is fun. It's fun to be surprised. I love this black cat mug. I know it's new, but it's still neat. Five dollars. Yeah, look at this. As is, though. What about this frog? Look at him. He's fantastic. I think that's new as well happening back here. What's this porcelain piece? It's really wedged in there. Definitely newer too, but very pretty. I love the owl mirror and the obvious unicorn. Oh my gosh, look over here. More weirdness. <laughs> um, that clown's fun. I love this figurine. Wait, cat teapot. $10. Made in China. It's still neat, though. I'm very attracted to this color. Wait. Fenton purple rose-shaped decorative bowl. It is Fenton. It's marked Fenton. That's beautiful. At $10? That doesn't seem right. I'm gonna grab that. Don't hate me for it, but I'm kind of second guessing that horse. It's a lot of weight too. It's gonna cost a lot to ship it. Look at this horse and carriage, $20. What about over here? Hmm, this is kind of neat. Very pretty turquoise face with handle. Looks new, made to look old. That's what I'm gonna assume, I could be wrong. Um. A lot happening here. That's a giant vintage elephant. And, and whatever this weird statue is, the the sun and moon. Dude, I have not had much luck with Mexican pottery. But this one, the subject matter is amazing. At $20, I might give it a quick Google just to be safe. I really want to take it, but I don't want to have $20 invested. So, I've already kind of come to terms with what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the horse back, and I'm going to get this. I just have this gut feeling that I'm going to regret leaving it. Now, next. Made in Spain. That's really pretty. Hmm might give that a Google too. I'm not so sure I know anything about that other than the fact that I like it. You know what? That's such a pretty color. I'm going to take a chance on it. It's a gamble, but I'm willing to do it. Now, what about the lemon? Those are new. Oh my gosh. Now, there are two salt shakers. Not salt and pepper, but at $4, I don't care. These things are epic. They're so cute. I know I said I haven't had much luck with the Dutch motif, but I'm taking these. And I know that little owl, $7. I don't know. This pheasant, though. Is it a pheasant? 
looks like a pheasant. It's kind of spectacular. It's only $4. It's kind of a shipping nightmare, though. I hope no one's mad at me for putting it back. I kind of feel like I already regret it, but I've had a lot going on. I am just a little tired thinking about shipping that. <laughs> oh my gosh. How fantastic. Stuff like this is really rare. One piece salt and pepper shaker. Oh! <gasps> $25 firm. I know that's rare. How rare? I might look it up. So I think I would make less than, uh, gosh, it's so perfect though. I think I would make about $10 if I bought that. This is the other thing that intrigues me. I'm not sure where this came from. But the clocks. Wait a minute. I don't think these are salt and pepper shakers, are they? I think they're figurines. Interesting. I'm gonna look those up too because those would come to nine dollars each. Well, it's a learning experience for me too. I'm kind of surprised that these don't sell for as much as I thought they did. Lucite? No. Yeah. Twenty-nine dollars though. I can't do that. The Route 66. Fifteen. Okay. So this booth is hip. <laughs> I love this, this is phenomenal. I'm really upset to leave the bellhop behind. I just think it's too much to have invested in it. I am gonna take a look through their jewelry case. Doesn't really seem like it's my style. But what about the bird basket? Oh dang, it's beaks chipped. That stinks. It looks like I am nearing the end, perhaps. Oh, I love these milk glass. Wait as is a dollar 25 oh it's got a big chunk missing out of it a dollar 25 they're so pretty though <laughs> i feel weird buying something that's chipped all right so it might not be the best smartest thing to do but i was like i can't leave these here for a dollar 25 each even if they are chipped they're just too pretty if no one wants them i'll sure keep them I could use this for like makeup brushes or something. I think they're so sweet. No one would even notice if you did something like that. And plus it kind of adds to their charm almost in a way, the way they're chipped. Okay. Rocks and instruments, interesting. Whoa, that's very cool. I love the graphic on that. And what's this? $1.50. That's kind of neat. It's not something I would normally pick up, but for $1.50, is it chipped or repaired? I don't understand. I guess it's just cheap. It's kind of neat. Why not? Now I can see kind of, it's got some kind of marking in it. D, huh. Interesting. Maybe I'm going to take a piece of paper and a pencil and go over that later. I mean, for a dollar, it's worth the gamble. Okay, so this is another thing I really don't buy is Crocs. But at $13.20 off, I really like the graphic on it. I'm kind of curious. I'm also like, what is this? Mask, $6.25 off. All right, well... I am really getting out there. Oh my gosh, a monkey planter. $10 and 25% off. So let's call it eight bucks. It's super cute and pink. I think I'm gonna do it. Well, I feel pretty good about that. I spent $90 in there and I am off to Oklahoma City. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some serious rearranging.